The night was dark as night, and I was working overtime on a hard case. A hard case of whiskey. Gotcha. Little did I know, that wasn't the only thing that was going to be hard tonight. <sighs> hey, wait, you, you can't go in there! Sorry, Screep. She's stronger than she looks. Never underestimate a desperate woman. Never underestimate a dame, period. That's my motto. What can we do for you, sister? Do I look like a nun to you? Maybe just a bad habit. Detective Screet, I'm here for a reason. I didn't think you were here for the donuts. We have donuts? What a mook. I want you to murder my husband. Usually, I'm on the other side of that equation, dollface. You don't understand. My husband is a low-down, dirty crook. He's one of the Heptagon's top bananas. If you don't kill him, nobody will. I like this gal's face, and I like bananas even more. So I took the case. I wasn't gonna off the guy, I just wanted to see if this dame's story would hold water, or if it was all crocodile tears. Did you say something? Hi-ho, everyone! Sorry I'm late, I was tending to some business. You must be those independently wealthy candy barons Vivian was telling me about. Yeah, I'm Mike. And I'm Mike. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Vivian should be along shortly. Great. That gives us some time to talk turkey. So, Browning, what kind of business were you tending to? Call me Sternwood. Didn't Vivian tell you I run a network of orphanages and homeless shelters? What about the Heptagon? The Heptagon? Why... Why, Vivian promised she was through with the Heptagon years ago, after we fell in love. I've got some bad news for you, Sternwood. The only thing that Skirt's in love with is your bank account. She hired us to put you on ice. <gasps> Why, you've rocked me to the very core. How do I know you're telling the truth? Sure is hot out. Why don't you have a nice cold glass of lemonade? Oh boy, lemonade. Yep. Life must have handed that gal some crazy ass lemons. I can squeeze a trigger just as easily. Not so fast there, legs. Hold on, detective. <laughs> I can't have you pointing that thing at the woman I love. Are we actually going to play some tennis? Because, you know, I bought some new shoes for this. <sighs> Does it even matter that she doesn't love you back? Is that true, darling? Well, if that's true, then I have no other reason to live. Really? Oh, that's great. That would save me so much trouble. Blue Blood, no, she's not worth it. <laughs> I don't believe it. How did you miss? What a sap. <laughs> Heartbreak one, love zero. Well, love is zero in tennis. I know that. But heartbreak scored one and love scored zero. Nothing scored zero in tennis. Zero is not in tennis. It's what? love. It's love, love. But if I say love, love, it's confusing. Nobody's going to know what I'm talking about. Well, it's... do the tennis metaphor or don't do it. Well, look, if I'm doing a tennis metaphor, I'm going to say... And that's exactly the way it happened. All right, now, L let me get this straight. You're the a-hole who drank all my whiskey? Get out! Mm -hmm. Ow! Sus.